Hi, I'm Ben Riley, the Systems IT Consultant in the Division of Assessment and Accountability Support within the Office of Assessment and Accountability. Welcome to our instructional video on navigating the Accountability Calculator. This tool is delivered to you in the Secure Web Apps as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. It's designed to assist in creating hypothetical scenarios and gaining insights into your district's data. Let's go ahead and jump in. The spreadsheet will be included in the data release for QC Day and can be found under the student data detail in the district zip file within a folder labeled calculator. This calculator is a dynamic tool allowing you to input data and immediately see the potential impact on scores, thereby facilitating strategic planning and timely interventions throughout your academic year. The calculator is divided into three main tabs. The tab you see before you, this is the information tab. This tab provides an overview of the calculator and contains important instructions and definitions to help you get started. This is the tables tab. This tab houses the English language progress indicator value tables, and it is divided into two sections. There's the regular assessed students, which displays progress values based on prior and current year performance levels on access for ELLs. And then there is the alternate assessed students, which is similar to the regular assess section, but tailored for students taking the alternate version of the assessments. You can also see a table for cut scores for overall score rating, and you can find the indicator performance ratings based on the combined change in status levels. And finally, there is the data entry tab. This is the primary working area where you want to input and manipulate the data to generate hypothetical scenarios. This tab will be pre-populated with your district's accountability data. The data tab ensures and contains several critical functionalities. The first is we have some drop-down selections. At the top, you can select school, elementary, middle, or high school, a specific school, or you can narrow it down to the specific group you are working with. There are also changeable cells. Changeable cells are clearly indicated by the thick bordered lines, and when you edit them, they are also indicated by a yellow background. These include prior year scores, indicators in reading, mathematics, science, social studies, and combined writing, minimum in, quality of school, climate and safety, post-secondary outcomes, graduation rates, and performance of EL regular and EL alternative students. There is also the menu options in the upper right-hand area. These are clear, reload, save, and load selections. The clear button initializes these selections and clears all cell values. The reload button refreshes the cell values within the last save selection. The save selections allows you to save the current state of your data in hypothetical scenario for future use. The load selection brings back the values from the save selection and makes it easier to revisit that previous scenario. So uh, original calculations are indicated also with red text with new inputs displayed next to the original values in parentheses. This feature enables quick comparisons while adjusting the variables in your scenario. Speaking of scenarios, let's create a scenario. Let's start by adjusting the prior year's status. Let's modify the prior year's status in reading and mathematics. Suppose you want to see what happens if you adjust the prior year score in reading from 57.9 to 50, and the mathematics from 44 to 40. After entering these changes, observe that the status will adjust accordingly in a reading and mathematics sections, and you will see the impact on the overall score. The combined score for reading and mathematics should now reflect the reduced scores. Let's say there has been an improvement in school safety, 
or the quality of school climate and safety over the year. If you increase the climate score from 69 to 80, and then increase the safety score from 63 to 75, this will show an improvement of the quality of school climate and safety metric. These changes will also reflect in the overall score. Now let's explore the effect of novice reduction in science. If you project a reduction in novice performance in science by lowering the number from 89 to 70, you see the change in the overall science score. This will likely increase the overall academic performance of the school. Check how this reduction in novice score impacts the total score in science and contributes to the overall score rating. Each of these changes gives you immediate feedback on the hypothetical scenarios and helps in making data-driven decisions to improve school performance. On behalf of the Office of Assessment and Accountability and Division of Assessment and Accountability Support, thanks for watching this training on the Accountability Calculator. If you have further questions or need support, please reach out to us at dacinfo.education.ky.gov or call us at 502-564-4394, or you can email me directly at ben.riley at education.ky.gov. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.